A KVU feature story on Willie Wells leading to today's field renaming ceremony at Anderson High. The school officially renamed its field Willie Wells Field to celebrate one of their most prestigious alumni and a baseball Hall of Famer. KVU's Jake Garcia joins us now live from the ceremony where he just got done hosting the event and Jake, you actually unveiled this story and brought it to light. Yeah, that's right, Darinisha. Uh, when I started this story two years ago, I obviously didn't envision it to kind of take on a life of its own and, and now lead to this, the Anderson baseball field officially, Billy Wells field. When I did the story again in the summer of 2020, it kind of felt incomplete. I wasn't able to dig up many pictures or videos of Willie Wells just because the city of Austin hadn't done a good job in preserving that history. I also wasn't able to talk with a family member, someone who knew Willie Wells personally. And so for that reason, the story didn't feel like it, it had soul. It didn't feel complete. Well, today I can safely say that it definitely feels complete now because all of that changed. We got to listen to family members of Willie Wells, people who knew him personally, as well as Bob Kendrick, the president of the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum and perhaps the country's foremost expert on the history of black baseball. They painted a picture of a man who wasn't just a baseball legend, but a significant and crucial part in the American civil rights movement in the 1940s, 1950s, and 1960s. Today, Willie Wells honors by Anderson High School, his name now officially attached to their baseball fields. Oh, man, it's, it, it's right here in my heart, man. It means everything. It's called we were going to do this here, like, we first found out he was in the Hall of Fame. I had planned to do this 12 years ago, you know. But yeah, yeah you, you beat me to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it means everything to me. That was a family member of the Willie Wells family. I want to say that man's great-great-grandfather was Willie Wells' uncle. Uh, so just countless stories like that today of people who knew the man personally and, and people who were forever touched by his contributions to the game of baseball. We heard countless stories like that all day long, Darinisha. One of my favorites was in mentioning at the point in which Willie Wells graduated from Anderson High School in 1923, he was five foot six, about 160 pounds. So he definitely hadn't hit his growth spurt yet. With that being said, he's standing among giants today. His name now officially attached to the Anderson High baseball field, now of course named the Willie Wells field. Jake, such a great story and rich history like that needs to be unveiled. Thank you so much for that story. Uh, KVU's Jake Garcia live from Anderson High School tonight. Thank you, Jake.